employee salary okay you assume we are having a, a class and in the class we have a some variables okay we have a some instance variables in the class okay so here okay i want to store okay i want to store this particular class object okay so i will create a one object here emp e1 equal to new emp okay now our e1 okay now our e1 uh, object okay e1 is the object of employee right so e1 has all the values of class like e1 has e id e1 has e name e domain e salary i mean our e1 object has everything okay our e1 object have everything so i want to store this e1 object directly into the table okay so i want to store this e1 object directly into the table okay so i can write something like this okay so for example we have some uh, some table okay so i can write save e1 okay I, i want to write save e1 okay then this particular e1 object okay for example e1 has a values like this e1 dot uh, e id equal to 101 101 and we have e1 like e name equal to something like you know anudeep and we have e1 dot domain char and we have e1 dot salary e domain and e salary okay 60000 okay we have a values like this okay i want to store these values in the database okay by writing by simply writing save e1 okay i don't want to okay i don't want to write a i mean those seven steps actually when we are having a jdbc na we have a seven important steps in jdbc like you know uh, importing the uh, i mean importing the sql package okay creation the connection getting the connection okay loading the driver okay we have i mean preparing the statements writing the queries okay we have something like this na so we have proper seven step procedure in the jdbc right so here okay i am directly saving the data okay without using anything okay i am not can directly store the values here i can directly i, I want to store the this e1 object directly into the table okay so here we have to understand one particular thing okay so we have orm tool okay we can we can did this okay we can do this by using the orm specification okay we can write the program like this and it will store the data into the database in a proper table okay but we have to use the orm specification okay orm specification orm stands for object relational mapping okay we have okay orm specification which is object relational mapping okay so object relational mapping is nothing but okay object relational mapping is nothing but okay so in java okay assume we have a java and we have a sql okay so in java we have a one class na so class name is equal to the table name in the sql okay so we have a variables in the class okay so we have a columns in the table okay we have a objects in the class okay we can create the objects that means we can create the rows okay so here we can do this okay so here we can do this we can do the same thing with the we can do the same thing with the jdbc also but but we are we are using java which is a most powerful object oriented programming language that you already know okay so if we have a class sql has a table if we have a variables sql has a columns if we have a objects sql has a rows okay if i want to implement inheritance okay if i want to implement the inheritance where is the inheritance in sql sql has inheritance no if i want to implement polymorphism okay so where is the polymorphism in sql 
okay we can't do this right we can't do this because java is a object oriented programming language sql is a rdbms relational database management system okay so we can't match a java application with the okay sql but we can match this okay we can match this by using a one mapping tool okay we can match this okay so we can implement inheritance we can implement polymorphism we can do all the things with the program i mean oops concepts by using a one mapping tool so we have to use one mapping tool okay that mapping tools is nothing but a object relational mapping tool okay if you want to okay so if you want to uh, so i mean develop okay if you want to develop a relationship between objects object oriented programming and relational database management okay by using a mapping technique by using a mapping technique that mapping okay tool is nothing but a orm tool okay so we can do this we can do this okay so here we have okay so many orm tools in the world we have so many orm tools okay we have so many orm tools okay those tools are hibernate okay and ibetis and the top link okay these are all the different frameworks of okay orm tools okay so in these frameworks in these frameworks okay so our orm tool is hibernate hibernate is a one of the most popular and more one of the most powerful orm tools in the world okay so we can use a hibernate to establish a relationship between a java application with rdbms okay a object state with a data okay so this is the orm tool okay so we are using one of the most powerful tool which is a hibernate okay we have so many alternatives for the hibernate ibtis and toplink are the one of those okay so we are using but java has a hibernate which is a very famous one and a powerful one so that's why we are going to learn hibernate okay hiber i mean so this orm tool is a specification okay this orm tool is a specification okay orm provide you the specification so you need a one language you need a one framework to implement the specification right so we are using hibernate framework to implement the orm tool specification okay so hibernate is a framework which is used to implement orm tools specification okay so that specification is known as okay orm is a one particular mapping technique right so we have a jpa okay so jpa stands for java persistence api jpa stands for java persistence api okay so this is the specification and this orm tool na so orm is a tool okay orm is a mapping tool i can say okay mapping tool has a set of rules okay to implement the set of rules we need a framework so that framework is nothing but a hibernate okay so if you are having a one particular class now if you are having a one class with some variables okay so if you want to store those values okay if you want to store the class directly into your database then okay you can use the hibernate okay no need to write the some commands like asql commands like select query where some id equal to so and so okay no need to write those things okay we no need to write the sql language we can directly write the java to store the database okay so this is the one of the most powerful hibernate i mean most powerful orm tool okay is hibernate and we i mean here we are using hibernate as a one of the back end tool okay so jdbc doesn't have any features to match a class with a table okay jdbc has a feature to write the sql queries in java okay so if you want to write some sql queries in java you need to implement jdbc techniques jdbc technology but here in the ibernet no need to write the sql languages and sql queries we can directly store a class or we can directly store a variables we can directly store a object of a one particular class into the table 
okay our column names must be equal to the variable name and our objects can be declared we can declare objects as a rows okay for example i can show you something <clears throat> So this is my database. Okay, so actually we have on the deep deep tech, right? On the deep, deep tech, select star from employee i think we have employee table now huh? okay employee table not found okay let me show the tables okay we have employee ax select star from employee ex okay so here we have a some details like you know employee id employee name and employee pass and employee balance right so these co i mean these things okay these column names are the variables and here employee ex is the class name okay employee ex is the class name and employee id employee name and employee password and employee balance is the okay variables of a class and these values okay we have baskar we have nishant and we have ankit right so these values are the different objects okay so object is going to store in a row and column names is a variable names and a class name is a table name so we can do this okay so no need to write the sql queries and no need to write the sql language in the java application anymore okay so this is the okay best uses of orm tool okay if you want to implement one orm tool na so we need a one particular framework okay so to implement orm tool we are using hibernate framework okay guys is this clear yes sir yes yes sir okay so i mean let me define orm tool in a theoretical manner okay so orm tool is a functionality which is used to maintain a relationship between object and database okay so orm tool i can write this you can write down okay orm is a functionality object relational mapping is a functionality which is used to uh, develop and maintain relationship in the object and database okay which is used to form the relationship between object and database uh, so i'll write something like uh, by mapping object state by mapping object state into the column or object state to the column object to the column so here here okay so if you want to okay implement this functionality okay if we want to implement functionality of orm we need a framework okay so here is a different frameworks of okay orm2 to support orm specification i 
Hibernate, Toplink, and Ibex. Okay. So these are all the okay frameworks to satisfy the specification of ORM. Okay. Is this clear for everyone? Yes. The yes. Specification sir. of okay Hibern. I mean ORM tool. Okay. So Sari is going to explain about these Hibernate today. Okay. So you can you can have a, a basic knowledge on the Hibernate in today's class by Amitabha sir. I am waiting to start in the class, but not yet joined. I think so. Okay. So if we started, na? If we started in the if if you joined in the meanwhile, so we will we will lose our flow. I don't want to disturb my flow. A few minutes we can if sorry not yet started then we can start our class yes Priyanshu. sir hibernate is a framework so can we know what is the framework frame okay that's an interesting thing okay so generally framework is a set of advanced tools okay set of advanced features which is developed by the programming language okay so when we are having a programming language no so we can implement the i mean so i can write something here mm. okay. so generally okay framework is used to develop advanced applications okay if you want to implement something like web applications desktop applications okay any type of applications we need to use one framework okay so this framework okay this framework is the kind of advanced um, methods and programs uh, features methods and features yes, which is developed by okay which is developed by the concept of one programming language programming language okay every i mean so pro, i mean programming language is nothing but c plus plus java python javascript okay these are the programming languages coming to the frameworks okay so angular is a one of the best framework for javascript okay so the features of angular is depend upon the programming languages of javascript okay if you don't know the concept of javascript you i mean there is a no possibility to learn about the angular okay because the features of angular the methods of angular is developed by using the concept of one programming language called javascript okay so here Hibernate is a one of the framework which is developed. Okay, Hibernate is a one of the framework which is developed with the concept of okay Java programming language. Okay, so this is a advanced features and methods we can say to develop to develop large scale applications. Okay, to develop large scale applications. Okay, so yeah this is a framework okay so framework is nothing but a kind of advanced methods and features okay so which is developed by the concept of one programming language okay so by using i mean by using the concept of inheritance by using the concept of uh, stream api by using the concept of anything okay anything so they are using those things okay they are using those concepts to implement set of advanced methods okay set of advanced methods okay the group of those advanced methods and features is known as a framework okay, okay sir okay sir very interesting come on let's ask these kind of doubts man
Yes, Priyanshu again. Sir, you told us that uh, it is helps to develop a large scale application. So, like what kind what of kind help it provides? Provide. Just give me. Okay. Priyanshu, please repeat. Please repeat. Sir, you told you us told that us it that helps, helps to provide. To Hmm. provide helps to develop a large scale application so what kind of help it provide see so i mean if you i mean you can develop you can develop the large scale applications by the help of java only but okay so if you i mean so assume you are developing a one software called employee management okay employee management system okay we can develop Okay, a, um, employee management application with the help of Java, JDBC, and you know the basic SQL. But this is not enough. Okay, the world is not accepting. Uh, will not accept this kind of a project. If you create a project with JDBC and SQL, okay, the company won't accept because JDBC is not a secure one. Okay, so because we need to write a lot of code. Okay, so we need to write at least ten lines of a code. Okay, ten lines of a code to insert one row. To insert one row, no? but but here. Okay, so when you are using the Hibernate, okay, when you are using the Hibernate, okay, you can implement the same. Okay, you can implement the same feature with the help of five lines. Okay, so if you want to insert now, if you want to insert hundred rows. Okay, if you want to insert a hundred rows in Java, you can write the thousand lines of code to insert the hundred rows. But here you can use the same okay five lines to insert the hundred rows. You know, we can create the different objects. That's it. Okay, you can create the different objects. You can you can save them in a single line. Okay, no need to write the commands. No need to okay, no need to write the all the things that we created earlier. Okay, so it has a, a features to decrease your length of the program. And it has, I mean, uh, in basic Java, you cannot work with the OTPs. For example, okay, I'm telling you, okay, if you want to work with the OTP, na, so if you want to generate OTP, if you want to validate the OTP, so we need some framework for that. Because in Java, we didn't have a that much range of features. Okay, we didn't have a mm, so many features in Java. So that's why we have to use the framework. Okay, they developed the new features, new methods. Okay, to work with the new updates. Okay, so if you want to, uh, I mean, if you want to work with uh, uh, something like machine learning, na, so you have to update your skills to the Python. So if you are, I mean, if you want to implement the machine learning with Java, still you can develop the machine learning application with Java, but it is too difficult to write the code because Java has a very limited features to work with the, I mean, machine learning to work with any type of the application development. So. Okay, to minimize to minimize the usage of Java, okay, they created the frameworks. When you when you face some problems with the language, na, so we need to update some we need to update something. Okay, we need to update something in the language. So you can update something in the language by the help of I mean frameworks. Okay, so frameworks give okay, you sir. the features to work with the new methods. I can say. Okay, sir. Okay. Yeah. Where is this man? Where is the sir? Only thirteen people are joining. He's so old and he's, uh, I mean, he has so, I mean, he has a lot of other, you know. So he asked, I mean, to add you into the particular session, but he's not starting the class. Give me a moment, I will call him.
sir nishant write something in a chat box priyanshu you are saying something sir nishant write something in a chat box chat okay. okay. remember to develop both websites as well as applications yeah i mean so yeah we can so web uh, website is a kind of application na right? so web applications so if you want to develop okay well, i mean one basic front end i mean if you want to develop one basic front end website so you need a framework of bootstrap okay there is a framework called bootstrap so which is used to develop um, something like you know i forgot the name so what can you say mm yeah so bootstrap is a framework of css and javascript okay so if you want to develop a basic okay a basic website okay a basic website so you can use the bootstrap framework okay and if you want to develop something like web applications then you have to use the different frameworks like spring angular okay so a framework is used to anything okay you can develop the frame i mean you can develop the website okay by using one framework called bootstrap there is a lot of frameworks not only java okay every language has a frameworks python has a framework of django okay javascript has a framework called angular and i mean react node express these are all the frameworks of java javascript and java has a frameworks like you know structs uh, hibernate uh, microservices spring spring boot services okay so many frameworks are there in the okay there in the it but you need to pick which type of framework you are going to use for the applications website is a kind of application na? so web applications we have so to develop web applications we are using the framework called spring and angular okay framework is everywhere okay nishan guys everyone join the class join that particular meeting sorry is going to start
Join the class and leave this particular class, okay? So Nishant, we can discuss this thing later in the sessions, okay? You can use. about your how to write normal hibernate application all these things we have done but now we need to know how we will be creating the project related to the concept of hibernate so that is the one of the most important point that we must do and also we need to know how to integrate some test cases using you know hibernate so these are all the different uh, aspects of knowledge that we must be having the idea so now we need to know that how we will be dealing with them so last class uh, i did one project if i can remember what i did actually i did banking collection jp start sir yeah you remember that okay fine thank you okay jp start we did what we did there we created an entity this guy and then what we did we created the simply that cfg.xml file this one we created then what we did we created the xml uh, dependency file that is cfg.xml file then what we did we also added the pom.xml all the required dependency JUnit dependencies, then we added H2, Hibernate, MySQL, all issues, and also the main Hibernate dependencies. So these we created. Now, what are the things left? We have also seen how to run the main program. We have written that app select query that we did last day. Checking the null value. Okay, these are also covered. Fine. So we have done. Fundamental hibernate is over for you. Now we need to now know what else is we must uh, perform in case of your JPA with hibernate. Because if you do not know them, then it will be very problem when you will go for Spring Boot with JPA. Because Spring Boot also uses internally hibernate only, the JPA part of Spring Boot. So you must know that this part you have to be confident uh, with good accuracy. Now, what the project we did last day was good. But again, if you take this project to our Capgemini team or any other you know, vendor, uh, I do not think they will be quite happy with that. Because we have not created the coding guidelines. So first, uh, what are the things we need to change in this project? Point number one. So there are two things that we must do. Point number one, changes in project structure. And number one, in the same project, same code, but must be done in a different manner. That I'll show you, don't worry. Number two, more to learn because this is not complete. So what more to learn? We need to uh, add up. What are, the, what are the things we need to add up? Hibernate with Java configuration. Like we have did with XML. So this is one of the things that we must know. Then 
we also must know hibernate with association example what is that one to one relationship then one to many relationship one to many relationship and the last many to many relationship and before that we also must know hibernate with inheritance like suppose i say there is a employee and there are two child classes one is a permanent employee in the company and one is a temporary employee so how do you create the relationship between them so one is a permanent employee child class and the second guy is a temporary employee it happens now in every company we can have this type of category so how do you create relationship so if i so there is no a direct employee so if i create a permanent employee then how uh, i will ensure that all the features of the parent class will be present in both then also we must know how the uh specific feature of permanent employee will be there specific feature man suppose annual salary and also temporary employee should have some specific feature like suppose permanent employee takes salary per month but temporary salary takes salary per hour if the person works 8 hours per day and he works 5 days in a week so 5 into 8 40 hours and if he takes 200 rupees per hour then 40 into 200 will be his salary for that week so you can understand the requirement of fiber net knowledge so this knowledge has to be there then one to one relationship like what what can be that example real life i can say once one person stays in a particular address or at a time one person can be connected with only one company job what is one to many one mother can have multiple son or daughter or one department can have more than one employee obviously can have more than one employee what is many to many one book can be written by more than one author and also many book may be written by many author So 
these are the different project when you are implementing different project these are the issue you must know suppose you are creating a hospital management system one doctor can teach can treat more than one patient that happens only It is not possible now that every patient will have a different doctor. Then there will be 20,000 patient in the big hospital and 20,000 doctors will be required. Not possible. Like here also I am teaching, one teacher is teaching so many students. I am teaching in this classroom. You all are there. So I can, I can see 41 out of me, 40 students are there. So I am teaching 40 students. So one is too many. I am one you are 40. So these are all different categorical issue we must learn. And if you are ready with all this knowledge, then I can obviously tell that yes, we are ready for spring boot with JPA because when you go there, you will again implement that, but obviously you will use spring boot with it. And it will be very handy to go on. So actually, guys, we need to complete all this. But obviously, 100% of all this is not possible and that does not adhere to our time also. So obviously, one to many we can do here. One to one is very easy. Normally, people do not do one to one. One to many is must. Or many to one, reverse way. Many to one can be also thought of like form and it is also both way. That means very important unidirectional and bidirectional. What is unidirectional? If I ask, get the data of the department, I should get the allocated employee. So this is unidirectional. If I and if I'm having employee and if I cannot get the corresponding department, that is unidirectional. Unidirectional money from one end. I'll be able to get the data, but I'll not be able to get from the other end. Means if you have that department, you may be able to know the employee. But if you have the employee, you won't be able to tell me that which department that employee is connected. This is unidirectional. And bidirectional is both. Means if I'm having a department, I, I will be should be able to know who, what are the employees in that department and if I'm having an employee name or number, I must know which department he is connected. So this is bi-direction. So every of these design are either two of two flavor. One is unidirectional flavor, one is bi-directional flavor. That means you should create one project in two mode. One mode is a uni mode, one mode is a bi-directional mode. So we need to remember this particular thing. Is it clear, guys? Yes, sir. OK. So yes, sir. when you are creating project, carry this concept. And whenever you are developing any project, only a student bana liya, a employee bana liya, khatam kaani nahi hoga. Usse kaam karoge to koi, nobody will, you know, make the project, you know, 100% ready or something like that. It's not that. So we need to think all these things, but obviously it's not very, very, you know, easy to proceed. That is why Hibernate takes a bit of time. Once you are having that, you know, allocation and time, and also you have to practice a lot. So today I will not going for one. First you need to know that inheritance relationship. How we can do that. Then only we can go for other. Yes, Rupa, tell me. Sir, it's our first. Uh, am I audible? Yeah. Sir, it's our first class. For the hibernate. With you. So you are from uh, whose uh, batch? Uh, sir, Bhaskar, Sai Chitturi's batch one. Yeah, but Bhaskar, sir, uh, Bhaskar, sir, I already took one class here. 
So I told Bhaskar sir to contact with Pallavi. I don't know why Bhaskar sir has pushed you here. Because you will not understand anything in the as yes, because you are told correctly, you should uh, come out of the of this particular place. It's not the first class. It is a second class. I am not going to tell you again the details of Hibernet here. Okay, sir. So uh, please communicate with Bhaskar sir and tell him that Amitabh sir, it is the second class, and obviously it is not possible if you don't do the first class. Okay, sir. I asked Vaskar sir to have a talk with Pallavi, sync the thing, and then only push the students. But I don't know why he has pushed us, pushed all of you here. Yes, sir. See, he asked me only that uh, today Amitabh sir will take the. I may be taking a class that does not mean I am taking from zero level. I am taking a batch. That means you must know what are the topics. You need to tell him that he has already done a class. So obviously, I'll start from where I left. Yes, but he only asked me that he will no, take the class. No, he may be asking. We need to clearly tell that this is the status of the batch. Are your batch is making a sync with it? You are tell him that it is not syncing. It is not possible for Rupa is told correctly. So immediately Rupa communicate with Bhaskar sir and ask him to take your class. You can okay, leave this sir. meeting. It is not possible. You won't understand a single line from my class here. java is not a magic please leave pallavi phone karo bhaskar ko unko bolo ke bhai ye dusra class the first class should have asked me yes sir and ask him to continue my class is going that does not mean students will be pushed from anywhere in the world first clarify what is going on is it possible at all to push the students here Okay, guys. You can leave. Here. No, no, that is not feasible. I'm not. I'm. A, I'm a human being. I'm not a robot. Okay, sir. I will talk. I'm. A... Start with DAO. So I give the name DAO. So it's the interface. Click here. Fine. Now what I'll do? I'll write the rule. My rule is boolean. I want to add a student. Boolean add student. Or even let us make a use a person that already we had now. So we do not need to write anything more. So add person. So in the bracket, I'll supply the pojo object person person, and this method will give me true if the person is really added. But person class is not there. Don't worry. Take the mouse. Create class person. Click करो. कहाँ पे बनानी है? Package दिखा दो. कौन सा package दिखाना है? Entity. आ गया भाई. चलो भाई करो finish. क्यों नहीं अलाउ नहीं कर रहा है टाइप ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्ट अच्छा पर्सन तो ऑलरेडी है हम लोगों का तो दिक्कत नहीं है तो हम क्या करेंगे उसी को कॉपी किए थे इंपोर्ट कर लो बस तो चलो पर्सन तो हम लोग का है एक बार देख लेते हैं क्या चीज बनी हुई है सो लेट गो टू आवर एंटिटी एंड वी कैन सी दर पर्सन इज ऑलरेडी प्रेजेंट यस तो ये टेबिल बदल देते हैं ना चलो तो अमिताभ वो टेबिल लास्ट दिन हुई डी सो लेट एस टूडे क्रिएट पल्लवी टेबिल remaining let's all okay chalo replace uh, pallavi in place of amita go that will be a good option so i can have all the names created by madam's name pallavi tu b likhis na b likhis re ke jane jai ho kichu eta to likhlam b b b likhis aaj ami b likhbo so fine so dao is there then uh, this is person is okay next change in the project we did this i hope you remember this is a configuration file today we will not do this so what i'll do i'll simply delete it no xml so we are making your project free of xml but you can highly ask me sir then if there is no xml how the configuration will be done so guys for that let us go to our uh, previous 
project and we can pick up from there so i think uh, this is not having that let me check spring boot demo pata nahi kahan likhe the isme likhe the kya dekh lete hain नहीं ये भी तुम्हारा ये तो स्प्रिंग का है फ्लैट रजिस्ट्रेशन इसमें लिखे थे नो no, ये तो एपीपी एंटिटी मॉडल रिपोजिटरी रिसोर्सेस नो ये तो स्प्रिंग वोटेड प्रोजेक्ट डेटा तो नहीं एक सेकंड ना बिर कुछ गलो प्रोजेक्ट है जेडीवीसी डाओ ओके चलो नॉट ए इशू लेट्स क्रिएट ए क्लास उसमें क्या है बना लेते हैं दो मिनट में हो जाएगी So let us go to your uh, JPA DAO, and then what I'll do, I'll have that config project is already there. Hibernate util is there. So what I'll do now, now I'll create a new class. Database config. So programmatic configuration we are going to learn today. Now let us take up some help from internet. Hibernate configuration configuration class. ले लेते कहीं नेट से भी कहीं से मिल जाएगा मेरे को ये तो ये नहीं चाहिए दिस इज रॉन्ग कॉन्फिगुर दिस इज ऑलरेडी वेब डन आई नोट नीड दिस कॉन्फिगुरेशन कॉन्फिगुरेशन विदाउट एक्स एम एल आई नीड यस मिल गया तो प्रॉपर्टीज ये तो मेन लिख दिया यहाँ पे ये लोगों ने तो ठीक है लेट अस सी कैसे कनेक्ट कर रहे थे ओके सो व्हाट आई विल डू आई विल टेक अप द क्लास फ्रॉम हियर Yes, this guy. But I don't need the full logic. I only need the uh, properties. All public static void main set property set name. Then how they have added? Let us check some running example without example. Yeah, let us check from here. चलो ये यहाँ से मिल जाएगा शायद ठीक ठाक. Yes. इसको नीचे करो आईवरनेटिल इज ऑलरेडी देयर ओके सो वॉट वी कैन डू वी कैन टेक अप दिस वेरी गुड एग्जाम्पल दिस इज ओके सो वॉट आई विल डू लेट अस क्रिएट ए गेट सेशन फैक्ट्री स्टैटिक मेथड सो चलो हम लोग क्या करते हैं ना इसमें इसको डाल देते हैं तो देखो एक्सेप्शन को लिखो थोड़ा सा चेंज करेंगे हम लोग विल चेंज इट इन आवर ओन वे सो दिस इज द कम्प्लीट कोड इन हाइवरनेट यूटिल फाइन सो लेट अस कॉपी इट तो इसको हम यहां डाल देते हैं तो भाई क्लास डेटाबेस कॉन्फ़िगरेशन सेशन फैक्ट्री वी नीड टू इंप्लीमेंट ये हो गया कॉन्फ़िगरेशन वी नीड टू नाउ यू सी गाइस व्हाट आई एम एक्चुअली डूइंग हियर इंस्टेड ऑफ दैट एक्सएमएल वी आर फर्स्ट चेकिंग व्हेदर सेशन फैक्ट्री इज नल इफ इट इज नल दैट मींस नो
wait a minute, guys, that have the power cut issue. Okay, ma'am. So I my current is gone, load shedding going on. I'm connected with 4P. So let me complete this part, then tomorrow again we will do. So let us come back here. We are uh, developed till now. Is it visible the screen or not? No, sir. It's not. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Now we quickly complete this. So properties we need to import. Environment we need to import. Environment is a class coming from Hibernate, which using which we can now you can see that all the properties now I am writing manually. So what I'm doing, guys, we are now having a class. This class will carry the connectivity hazard. So in the last case, we use the XML file. And what is the database we used? So we need to go to MySQL command line argument and then connect there. So we are connected now. We know that we can use a database, suppose MySQL already present. And we are going to use that one only. So how we can change that? Driver is OK. So instead of all these, you can delete all. Simply write MySQL. Then user ID password is OK. This is must be 8. Database SQL true. This is thread. Create and drop. I should change it to only create. So that means what I'm creating a properties object and I'm adding in the configuration, all the settings. Then what is my annotated class? Annotated class means my entity class. My entity class is already, you know, that is person already present in my project. So guys, we need to change this one to from student to the student person. Next guys, what I need to do, I need to now create a session factory object. So you already know this is not required. So what you can or even you can use this approach. This is Hibernate uh, latest orientation of using the service registry class. You can take one. And you can import all the thing person also you need to import. So all the import you have to do properly. And then at the end it is returning. So this class is now completely ready which is returning me the session factory. But what do I have to do? We do not need a session factory. We need a session of it. So let us change it to get session factory now. Simply make Karoisko get session. What I will do, I will import the session here. And in the below area, we have got the session factory ready. Then what you do? You write here return. session factory dot open session Sorry. so so do not write here this one better you should store it in a angel yeah. uh, in a session reference and then in the last one you return that session object and in the exception, do not add this, only this guy. You need to add hibernate exception. You need to import that one also. And then 
in the SOP, you need to add up into that one and then I think we need to declare the session also in the top area because otherwise it is not going to work because this, this is not visible here. So what I will do, session factory is null, then you are going there and then I think we should be, it is now, it should, you should return the session variable also. So I think in this, if session factory is going, then all these things are happening. So here also what you can do, you can declare a session, session equal to null. You declare a local variable session. Then what you do, here you do not declare it, you simply take this guy, session, and you return this session only. So the catch is over, I think this return statement, catch is catch statement is over, then this is the bracket of what this bracket is, I think, uh, try bracket is over, then catch bracket is over, then I think this line should appear after this. Return statement, then the method is over, isn't it? Then the method is over, this bracket is not required, I think. And I'll check it out again. Session factory is outside. Then I think static group session. Let us check it out. The bracket. I think return. Uh, hello, all of you, please mute yourself. Sound noise is coming. So try, try is there. So this try is actually this line. This is try, then catch, then I think there will be another bracket. What is happening here? Syntax error, class body, then another bracket. Yeah. Now it's all okay, but still I find there is an issue. Add a return statement. Return statement, it is not able to generate. Why? The session factory is there. Try block is returning, getting a session ready, then catch. And what is this bracket? This bracket is coming from, oh, I think there is a if. If a, if ke bahar aapko return karna padega. Mere ko lagta hai, ye return yahan pe galat hai. Ye return aapko yahan pe dena padega. Ab issue ye ho gaya ke usko दिखाई नहीं दे रहा ये तो मैंने इसको क्या किया ना गलती से यहां लिख दिया तो इसको कट करके मेथड के अंदर ईप से बाहर लिखो ग्लोबल विजिट हो जाएगा ये सो गया तो गाइस दिस इज बेसिकली द कांसेप्ट ऑफ योर सेशन फैक्ट्री एंड ऑल द थिंग्स आर डन इन अ सिंगल मेथड गेट सेशन तो व्हेनेवर यू विल क्रिएट गेट सेशन इट विल लोड द ड्राइवर इट विल create everything and then it will come just wait now i need to toil in the other batch that load shedding is going on and i won't be able to join okay just wait fine so we have created that now let us uh, create that one and what we will do now database configuration i have created using a class now we are not using any more xml file so java pura java ho gaya aap log matlab uh, java pe pura dependent kar sakte you are not, do, do not need to change it to xml dependency ki koi jurat nahi so now what I'll do, I'll write the implementation. Interface to bana chuke hai already. So is package ke andar aap logo ka interface implementation aega. Kaise aega? Class se aega. Kaise aega? Now I'll write DAO IMPL. Service layer hum log kal karenge. Aaj possible nahi hai. Aisi garmi mein mar rahe hain. Pura load shedding. Pata nahi kab aega currently. Pata nahi hota nahi hai. Aaj hi ho gaya hai. I think there is a huge raining going on in Kolkata since last time. So that may be the reason. Anyway, so we have overloaded the method. Then 
uh, what is the DAO? DAO is this guy. Save it and then come here and then no issue. So what I'll now I'm going to do, I'm going to add up a new person. So guys, we have create we have already that logic written in the last class. So we can simply copy from there. Suppose I want to insert a particular new student, isn't it? So what I can do, I can use this particular logic. So it is already written, isn't it? So let me copy this one and then come here. What I'll do, I'll put it here straight away. Let us see. So I'm creating a make session. So hibernate.util, I don't think that method is make session. That method is, yeah, make session only. So what will you return? Hibernate.util.make session. So let us close this and uh, Hibernate.util. Oh, sorry, Hibernate.util. It is uh, the last day class we created. Okay, so from but I what we have done we have created we can simply delete this class again. This is not required. Instead, you can use database config, isn't it? What we created today. So let us come here and uh, instead of this make session hibernate util, let us use the class today we created database config dot get session. Ye mil gaya aapko session. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a person. So ye person to already this present, so there's no need to write here new. So you simply instead of isko kar do p1. To gaya sare setting. Transaction is ready, save is ready, commit is ready, close it ready, SOP is also ready, return false. Why return false? It should be true. Kyunki aap database mein data save kar rahe ho na. To agar ye true hota hai to aapko return karna chahiye true ya false is tarike se. To what it returns? It mainly returns the primary key and uh, what i can do the save method can return you the primary key and what you can do you can trap it in some this and then you can also uh, i think return it to some integer cost of id to serializable id so i think i've got this one and uh, what i will do now it is returning the serializable interface that id value i think uh, or if i take it one as integer it returns the primary key if i write like this then cast to integer yes that is also, that is better so now what i'll do instead of returning false i'll check if i think i should write here only if id is greater than zero then the data is actually inserted then what i will do i'll also take a boolean variable and i'll initialize it to false then i will write a bracket and here i will write b equal to true then i will commit like this then obviously i'll close the session close session is will be coming at the last and very last instead of this i'll return b else i should also provide some else possibility where i'll make it again false back to false and i will cancel the transaction by rollbacking so like this return b so i'm going to get the logic back in my boolean variable so see guys this is our interface this is our implementation this is our database configuration now we'll be going to our main you already see that your old main is having some error because you know i am now going to create the real object and i'm going to push it so i'm not going to any more using any get session and all kyunki wo to wahi se ban ke aa jayegi hum log kya karenge na hum log sab band kar denge simply person banayenge and then i'll use the database configuration now so what is my database configuration i already have the dao so i'll create a database reference variable now interface reference variable 
so how i'll be getting that dow impl So guys, this is how you are creating a reference interface reference variable. Then I will call it inside the if. Because it boolean return करता है. तो ये आ गया. उसके अंदर भेजो p1 को. अगर ये सही में घुस गया, तो return करवाओ true. Return true. या फिर ऐसा करो. आप यहाँ पे भी boolean value set कर सकते हो. और फिर यहाँ पे आप ऐसा भी कर सकते हो कि एस ओ पी दे के भी काम कर सकते हो एस ओ पी कर दो और इनके सब दिस आई कैन राइट नाउ पर्सन इज एडेड और अदर इज स्टोर्ड स्टोर्ड इन डेटाबेस और मैं क्या कर सकता हूं ना इसके आगे वी कैन एड एल्स एंड वी कैन चेंज दिस मैसेज टू इंक्लूडिंग द नॉर्मल एक्सेप्शन बिकॉज देर मे बी चांस ऑफ Some other error which is not hyper related error. So we have added all the exception handling here, and also how do you ensure that session will be closed? Because you are calling the session equal to close here, it will be already closed. So and the exception is handled there only. And in case of that transaction is also rolled back. So all the cases have been taken care. Select will do later, so you can delete this. Now not required. so guys this is the project what we have created till now am i clear till now yes sir yes sir yes sir now we need to run the project otherwise there is no point okay so let us run the project Let us run it. तो कर देते रन किया और फायदा है बस चलो रन करके बंद करते गर्मी मर रहे हम बैठ के चलो ये हो गया भाई डेटा पल्लवी में घुस गया डेटा चलो पल्लवी देख चेक करके आते हैं उनके डेटा बेस में सिलेक्ट स्टार फ्रॉम पल्लवी टेबिल गाइज इज इट क्लियर अंडरस्टूड ऑल ऑफ यू यस सर Yes. So yes, okay, we have done the DAO. Yes, DAO concept is clear. So please implement henceforth. जब भी database में communicate करोगे go by DAO. You should not write anything else. Data access object design pattern. Please remember all of you. Now we need to push it to GitHub. So what I will do? I will uh, open up in my old uh, GitHub link only. Let us try to go to GitHub. पूरा नाम ही पूछ कर देते हैं बेकार में नया बनाने का फायदा नहीं है कुछ तो भाई पता नहीं कहाँ है बाप रे बाप कितने सारे हैं तो योर रिपोजिटरीज आई थिंक डीड ये स्टडे हाई बर्नेट यस मिल गया तो गाइज व्हाट आई विल डू आई विल पुश इट हियर ओनली सो सिंपली इसको कॉपी कर लो है ना तो कॉपी करके हम लोग क्या करेंगे ना इसी गिटअप इसमें हमको डालना डालने का है so we are not going to clone it we are simply going to reuse it so kaise karna hai isko right click karo fir chalo properties mein fir jao isme so ye aapka folder ho gaya to isme ja ke aapko kaam karna padega so open a cmd then you can write git init ban gaya empty kyun bola kyunki maine git folder uda diye the ab karna hai aapko git add dot वर्किंग फुल बी रिप्लेस ठीक है तो अब करो फिर गिट स्टेटस देखो क्या सारे ग्रीन है मतलब सारे चले गए 
देन यू डू गिट कॉमिट माइनस एम कुछ मैसेज डालो आई कुछ भी हो गया अब करो गिट पुश मारो एंटर अरे रिपोजिटरी तो नहीं बताए तो कैसे होगा गिट रिमोट एड ये करना पड़ेगा गिट पुश गिट रिमोट एड नेम नेम मींस ये कौन सा यूआरएल नेम और यूआरएल आइडर स्पेसिफाई द यूआरएल फ्रॉम द कमांड लाइन और कॉन्फ़िगर फिगर गिट रिमोट फाइंड सो हमको लिखना यहाँ पे है गिट रिमोट एड फिर आपका यूआरएल क्या बोल रहा है ये अच्छा गिट रिमोट एड ब्रांच करना हाँ तो क्या लिखना पड़ेगा बताओ गिट माइनस एम तो गिट के बाद क्या लिखना पड़ेगा बताओ ढंग से माइनस एम मास्टर ब्रांच माइनस एम यस सर माइनस एम उसके बाद लिंक उसके बाद लिंक सर माइनस एम के बाद लिंक दे देंगे हो जाएगा सर मैंने तो ऐसे ट्राई किया था अभी तक तो इतना ही याद है नहीं ये गलत है ऐसा थोड़ी ना होता है देखो कैसे होता है हमको क्या करना है इसको कैसे जानोगे कैसे करना है तो इसको जानने के लिए हमको एक नया रिपोजिटरी बनानी पड़ी इसी में करेंगे लेकिन हम लोग अभी जानने के लिए विल क्रिएट ए न्यू रिपोजिटरी कुछ भी नाम दे देंगे फिर बाद में उड़ा भी देंगे क्रिएट रिपोजिटरी जैसे ही बनाए ना तो इट विल गिव यू द लिंक ये देखो कमेंट आ गया सारे ये करना था हम लोग जो गलती से नहीं कर पाए अरे ये लोग खुद दे देखो हो गया अब क्या करना आगे ना तेरे को अभी ये गिट रिमोट एड ओरिजिन ये लिखना पड़ता है तो ये करो उसके बाद गैप दो गैप देने के बाद बैक करके आप आ जाओ अपने उसमें क्या कहते हैं उसको जो जे वाले कहा गया यार पता नहीं कहा भाग जाते हैं रिपोजिटरीज ये हो गया जे हाइबरनेट में आ जाओ और इसमें आके इसको कॉपी मारो कॉपी मार के फिर यहाँ आ जाओ फिर आके ये मारो ये मारो हो गया अब ये भी घुस गया अब करने का क्या है ना तेरे को अभी लास्ट है पुश पुश तो मेरे को लगता है कि गिट पुश सीधा लिख देना सही हो जाएगा देखते हैं फिर नहीं ये तो नहीं हुआ कौन क्या था कॉमेंट उसका करंट ब्रांच में नो ब्रांच पुश द करंट ब्रांच सेट द रिमोट एज अपस्ट्रीम यूज इज गिट पुश ओरिजिन मेन कर देते हैं सेट फिट की जरूरत नहीं है गिट पुश ओरिजिन एम नहीं गलत हो गया कहीं एक सेकेंड क्या था लास्ट वाला कमांड में गलती हो रहा है हम लोगों को ये ना लिख के रखना चाहिए क्या पड़ेगा ना ये था माइनस यू ये तो लिखा ही नहीं मैंने ये तो लिखा ही नहीं कैसे होगा देखो गलती हो गया अब नहीं होगा वो तो बेस्ट ऑप्शन क्या है ना मैं जो बोलता हूं इसको ना करते हुए ऐसा करो अच्छा ऑप्शन बताते हैं क्या है देखो यहाँ पे आके एक से सीधा करो कमांड प्रॉम्प्ट से कभी कभार प्रॉब्लम हो जाती है तो हम लोग क्या करते हैं एक बेटर ऑप्शन है यहाँ पे आके विंडोज उसमें आके प्रेफरेंसेस में जाके ओपन परस्पेक्टिव में जाके आधार में जाके गिट खोल लो आ गया अब क्या करना है यहाँ पे जाके क्लोन किसको क्लोन करोगे ना जो तुम्हारा वहां पे है ठीक है तो जैसे तुम चाहते हो कि जेडीबीसी कोड में तुम घुसाना चाहते हो सब ये तुम्हारा ऑलरेडी है जेडी जेपी डाओ ये सब सारे पहले से है सोनार ये सारे मेरा रिपोजिटरी पहले से यहाँ पे क्लोनिंग क्लोन्ड किए हुए हैं तो मैं अगर चाहता हूँ कि पूरा हम लोग का जो हाइबरनेट वाला बन रहा है मतलब बन चुका है तो अगर हम उसको देखना चाहते हैं उसको ले आना चाहते हैं यहाँ पे तो ये रिपोजिटरीज में जाओ और हाइबरनेट में घुसो घुसने के बाद इसको लगाओ क्लोन मतलब ये हो गया कॉपी है ना 
कॉपी करने के बाद यहाँ आ जाओ फिर ऊपर में देखो छोटा छोटा ये जो लिंक है इसमें क्लोन में आओ ये देखो हाइबरनेट आ गया अब इसको करो ये पासवर्ड ले लेगा और पासवर्ड अगर पुराना मैच करता है तो होगा नहीं तो चीज देना पड़ेगा दोबारा लगता है मैच हो गया है तो फिनिश करो तो ये देखो क्लोनिंग कर रहा हूं तो रिपोजिटरी घुसा घुसा रहा है हमारे प्रोजेक्ट ये देखो आ गया क्लोन होके वापस ये बंदा हाइबरनेट घुस गया अब क्या करना है ना वापस जाओ तुम्हारा प्रोजेक्ट में कैसे जाओगे पर्सपेक्टिव जावा मतलब जो डिफॉल्ट वाला था ये हो गया जावा जैसे हम लोग थे अब इसमें कैसे उसको ऐड करोगे राइट right क्लिक करो जाओ फिर टीम टीम में जाने के बाद करो शेयर प्रोजेक्ट ठीक है शेयर प्रोजेक्ट हुआ फिर करो कॉन्फिगर गिट रिपोजिटरी तो ये तो अपने आप आ गया फिनिश करो अब फिर से क्लिक कर, राइट क्लिक करके देखो मैवेन टीम में आके ये देखो सारे ऑप्शन मिल गए आपको यहाँ पे देखो कमिट ये देखो कमिट अब जैसे ही तुम कमिट करोगे गिट स्टेजिंग आ जाएगा अपने आप यहाँ पे ठीक है तो हम लोग क्या करेंगे अभी इसका कोड को उसके उसमें अपलोड करेंगे तो हम लोग कैसे करेंगे इसको फिर से हम आ जाते हैं इसमें इसको डिस्कनेक्ट भी कर सकते इस तरीके से देखो डिस्कनेक्ट देखो खाली खुल गया पूरा जैसे मैं बोल रहा था तो इसको बंद भी करके दोबारा भी खोल सकते हो जैसे ये तो तुम्हारा कंसोल है तो फिर से कैसे ले आओगे राइट क्लिक करोगे फिर आ जाओगे मैं टीम में आके ये देखो शेयर प्रोजेक्ट तो इस ये जो शेयर प्रोजेक्ट हो रहा है इसमें जेपी ए डाव लिया हुआ है लेकिन हम लोगों को तो दूसरा चाहिए था ना जो हाइबरनेट वाला उसको हम लोगों को देना था तो इसमें तो जाएंगे तो दूसरा रिपोजिटरी में चला जाएगा इसीलिए मैं सोच रहा हूं इसको कैसे इसमें क्लोन करें क्योंकि नॉर्मली क्या होता है नहीं ये तो जेपी हमने प्रोजेक्ट सिलेक्ट किया जेपी एडाओ तो है ही नहीं हम लोगों का हम लोग कौन सा है जेडीबीसी हम लोगों का प्रोजेक्ट कौन सा है यहाँ पे जेपी एडाओ है क्या यस यस यही तो है तो सही तो लिए थे लेकिन तेरे यहाँ पे तो फिर क्यों नहीं आ रहा है इसमें शेयर प्रोजेक्ट कर रहे हैं तो जेपीए डाओ इसमें जो आ रहा है क्रिएट चलो फिर फिनिश करके देखते हैं कहा जाता है तो टीम में चलते हैं फिर कॉमिट अगर बोल रहा है हो गया लग रहा है मैं बाहर से कर दिया ना एक बार अच्छा जी बाहर से कर दिया इसी चक्कर में वो कनेक्टेड हो गया तो ऐसा करते हैं देखो बाहर से कनेक्शन कैसे काटे उसका इसमें आ जाओ इसमें आके जेपी डाओ में घुसो घुसने के बाद ये देखो डॉट गीट वाला फोल्डर बन गया फिर से उसको भगाओ इसको तो ये कनेक्शन तो इसको बार बार डिलीट करना पड़ेगा सर ना हाँ वो वो ऑटोमेटिक बन जाता है <laughs> उसको जब तक वो डिलीट नहीं करोगे ना तब तक उसका कनेक्शन डिसकनेक्ट करो अभी अभी लगता है मेरे को फिर से एक बार जाके देखते है डॉट वो फोल्डर है कि नहीं मतलब बर्बाद हो गया ये फिर से बन गया अपने आप बन जाती है इसीलिए मैंने हिडन फोल्डर ऑन रखते हैं ताकि मतलब पता चले नहीं तो दिखाएगा नहीं तुमको जो भी है तो यहाँ तक इस, तो तो इस बार नहीं है शायद पता नहीं अभी देखते हैं फिर अब दे, आ, आप देखो आया वो कट गया ना उसका लिंक जैसे ही कट गया ड्रॉप डाउन मिलेगा तेरे को आया फंडा समझ में फंडा बेटा कुछ तरीके से करिए तो यहाँ से आप तुम चूज कर सकते हो अब क्या नॉट मूव क्यों बोल रहा है ओवरलैप विद लोकेशन विच कंटेंट से डॉट प्रोजेक्ट फाइल ओहो तब तो इसमें तो प्रॉब्लम दे रहा है ये क्योंकि मैंने बाहर से एक बार पुश करने का कोशिश किया था ना इसी चक्कर में है उसका कॉन्फ्लिक्ट हो रहा है कुछ कैन नॉट मूव मूव नहीं कर पा रहा है मतलब मूव होगा तो पुराना वाला डिस्कनेक्ट होकर चला जाएगा जिस लोकेशन ओवरलैप हो रहा है क्योंकि विच कंटेंट से डॉट प्रोजेक्ट फाइल अगर इसको हटा दे तो फिनिश हाईलाइटेड नहीं है इसको ऑन करे तो तब भी नहीं है तो मतलब मेरे को लगता है दो बार कर लिया इसी चक्कर में प्रॉब्लम हो रहा है तो ऐसा करते हैं चलो एक फ्रेश रिपोजिटरी बना के ही तुमको दिखाते हैं लेकिन वहीं से दिखाएंगे क्लिप्स में से तो करते हैं फिर रिपोजिटरी डाव करके एक बनाते हैं ये सारे अच्छा इस सब हटा दियो कैसे डिलीट करोगे ज्यादा बन जाएगा तो नीचे चले जाओगे इसका इसमें सेटिंग्स में जाओगे सेटिंग्स में बिल्कुल नीचे जाना ये देखो डिलीट ये देखो तो अभी इसको कॉपी करके यहाँ पे पेस्ट करो और मारो यहाँ पे बस भाग जाएगा अच्छा दोबारा पासवर्ड पूछता है एक सेकेंड मैं दे देता हूं
हाँ देखो उड़ गया वो ठीक है तो उस तरीके से बना मार उड़ा दिया पुराना वाला बेकार वाले तो हम लोग करते हैं फिर से अभी नाम देते हैं सपोज देते हैं डाओ टेस्ट ठीक है तो इसको हम क्रिएट करते हैं नया फ्रेश बिल्कुल फ्रेश है कोई इशू नहीं है तो ये हो गया इसको कॉपी कर लिया मैंने अब यहां आ जाओ फिर पहले क्या करने का पहले इसको ऐड करने का तो इसको ऐड करने के लिए हम लोग जाएंगे अदर में जाके गिट में पहले गिट खोलना पड़ेगा यहाँ पे गिट खोलने के बाद आपको यहाँ पे इसको क्लोन करना पड़ेगा एड एन एग्जिस्टिंग लोकल नहीं ये नहीं ये क्लोन हाँ ये वाला इसमें देखो ऑटोमेटिक डाओ वाला आ गया मतलब जो मैंने कॉपी कर रखा था तो नेक्स्ट करोगे तो उसको उठा के ले आएगा अभी फेच करेगा अब फिनिश हो गया आपका तो ये बंदा हो गया देखो कर रहा है अभी क्लोनिंग कर रहा है खाली वाला तो ये घुस गया यहाँ पे कहाँ पे घुस गया ना ये घुस गया यहाँ पे डाओ करके कहा है ये वाला पहला वाला ये हो गया अब हम क्या करेंगे वापस उस व्यू में आएंगे कौन सा व्यू में आएंगे ना जावा वाले व्यू में आएंगे तो पर्सपेक्टिव ओपन पर्सपेक्टिव अदर करके डिफॉल्ट जावा ये आ गए वापस अब क्या करना राइट क्लिक करने के बाद अब क्या करने का ना टीम में जाने का और शेयर प्रोजेक्ट फिर से अब इसमें तुमको फ्रेज देखो नया मिल गया डाउ टेस्ट अब कोई इशू नहीं है देखो कोई चक्कर नहीं है फिनिश करो आ, ओके कर दो और फिनिश कर दो तो तुम्हारा प्रोजेक्ट में ये देखो इसको खोलो फिर और इसमें ये तो तुम्हारा वो दिखा रहा है तो गिट में जाओ फिर से कैसे जाओगे विंडो शो पर्सपेक्टिव ओपन अदर गिट आ, अब देखो सारे प्रोजेक्ट यहां घुस गया है पूरा कंटेंट अब इसको ये डबल वाला प्लस में मारो तो ऊपर से नीचे चला जाएगा ये देखो अब कॉमिट वाला मैसेज लिखो यहीं पे फर्स्ट कॉमिट कुछ भी लिखो लिखना पड़ेगा ना लिखने से नहीं होगा कॉमिट एंड पुश अब ये देखो पुश हो रहा है अब तुमको यूजर आई पासवर्ड पूछेगा जो तुमको देना पड़ेगा अब मैंने यूजर आई पता नहीं कहां रखा है ये था क्या नहीं ये तो नहीं था अब यूजर आईडी पासवर्ड तुमको देना पड़ेगा जो मैं भूल चुका हूं तो मेरे को क्या करने का अगर भूल गया है तो चक्कर नहीं इसको सीधा जाके सेटिंग्स में जाने का पर्सनल एक्सेस टोकन बनाओ कहाँ पे जाओगे नीचे जाओगे डेवलपर सेटिंग्स में कहा है ये यहाँ पे जाके पर्सनल एक्सेस टोकन मिलेगा उसमें जाओ फिर पुराना वाला डिलीट करो आई अंडरस्टैंड अब बनाओ फिर जेनरेट न्यू टोकन कुछ भी नाम दे दो और नीचे जाके इसको कर दो नब्बे दिन का फिर ये वाला ऑन कर दो सारे ऑन कर सकते हो अच्छी बात है सारे ऑन कर दो ताकि पूरा के पूरा ए टू जेड परमिशन तुमको मिल जाए इस टोकन से तो आजकल पासवर्ड यूज नहीं होता टोकन यूज होता है पासवर्ड में काम नहीं होता आज सारे जगह में तो ऑल गिट यूजर शुड बी है अब करो जेनरेट टोकन अब तुमको ये एक ही बार कॉपी करने को देगा इसको ये हो गया कॉपी कॉपी कर लिए करने के बाद तुम एक्लिप्स में आ जाओ फिर यूजर नेम लिखो ओनली यूजर नेम ठीक है तो ये मैंने लिखा मेरा यूजर नेम पास मेल नहीं लिखेंगे और इसमें ये डालेंगे और ये सेव करेंगे और लॉग इन करेंगे हो, हो गया अब क्लोज करेंगे तो तुम्हारा वो पुश हो गया होगा अब देखो जाके वहां पे रिपोजिटरीज में बैक करो नया वाला जो डाव वाला बनाए थे उसमें क्लिक करो प्रोजेक्ट आ जाना चाहिए ये आ गया और मैं इसको अभी कॉपी करके आपको देता हूं तो ये होता है एक्चुअल तरीका करने का आया समझ में भाई लोग यस 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 सर 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 देखते हैं फिर इसका ओके चलो भाई देन गाइस We'll meet again tomorrow, or I'll tell Pallavi. Okay, bye. Thank you, sir. Bye, bye sir. sir. Thank you, 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 sir. Okay, guys. Those were from Bhaskar Sir batch. Just go back to your batch.